Yo, what is up? This is Devon YGO, and I uh, just want to quickly explain, uh, in case anyone's wondering. Uh, so, I'm, as you can see, I do not have my face cam for this one. Uh, I just have a little PNG. So, basically, it's just whenever I don't feel like being on camera, I, I just, I'll just i just pull up my little PNG version of me. And, uh, yeah, anyways, that's besides the point. Doing a deck profile on my Warrock deck. And uh, so, I've been playtesting with Warrocks for a little bit. Um, or at least this build for a little bit. And, honestly, I've been seeing some decent success. Uh, I've... I've play tested against uh, Snake Eyes Fire King. I've played against uh, Sword Soul. I've also played against uh, Ubel. Um, and honestly, Ubel is actually a decent matchup, mainly because Meteor Gun shuts down the Ubel gimmick. Um, so it's just yeah, th th this card right here alone kills the Ubel deck. So yeah, again, I've been seeing some pretty decent success uh, playing against like Fire King, uh, Sword Soul, the, the, all, all those decks that I just mentioned. So this deck is built to go second, and it's and honestly, I, I used to play a lot of like Kaiju's and just heavy board breakers with War, uh, with yeah, with War Rock, um, but I decided to try out hand traps to see how well it would do in war rocks at first i wasn't really a big fan of ha having hand traps in a war rock deck just because like war rocks don't do anything they don't combo they just you just summon and swing but the thought process going into throwing hand traps in um well i you know what i mean you, you guys see the deck profile let me just go ahead and quickly run through it so it's three forsha two gactos one wento one orpus one mamid uh double meteor gun one bachelaos triple uh, gamma seal Triple Nib, Double Ash, Double Ogre, Double Bell, Double Droll, uh, Triple Mountain, Double Crossover, Triple Dignity, Triple Medium, One Reinforce, uh, One Change of Heart, and Double Magnum Shield. So, going through the monsters first, the explanation of the monsters. Uh, so, obviously, or obviously, Triple Forsha, because this is like your main card. This is essentially your your starter for War Rocks, even though it's extremely slow. Uh, it searches out your any or any war rock card. Um, so yeah, Forsha is really good. Uh, Gactos is just to get another body on board. So the reason behind having Gactos in the deck is just to get a another body on board to swing. Because again, this is just a pure or war rock is a pure beat down strategy. Uh, so you want to normal summon your war rocks, uh, your normal summonable war rocks, and then activate Gactos effect to special summon himself. So Gactos is basically just you know your backup. He just comes out and swings with you. I used to play three, but I decided to cut the third one because seeing double Gactos is not really that great in hand. Um, the third one was getting a little bricky, so I decided to cut it out for like other things. Um, and then we play one Wento. I was trying two for a little bit just to have a higher uh, level four count. Um, but I think the one Wento is perfectly fine. Uh, one Orpus just for another Warrock name. And it lets you, if you see Orpus, then you can use Orpus to dump the Bachelaos so you don't draw into it and you don't brick on it. And if you do use this effect, uh, if you've already dumped Bachelaos or if Bachelaos is in your hand, usually I just use Orpus to like dump my other uh, Warrock names that I don't want to draw into. Uh, so it just helps to uh, unclog the deck a little bit and hopefully you see a better uh, a better draw. Mamid is actually pretty decent. Uh, he's the spell and trap removal for the archetype. So I play one copy of him just because he's he's nice to have. Uh, Double Meteor Gun. He is the main boss monster you're going to be summoning in the deck. Or that you're going to want to summon in the deck. Uh, I wanted to play three Meteor Gun and one... Uh, three Meteor Gun over the two Meteor Gun and one Bachelaos. But Bachelaos has just been... It, there, there's moments where you do need Bachelaos. Um, like sometimes Meteor Gun can't get over something, but you can use Bachelaos effect to swing directly. And it just, I don't know, it, it, his effect to swing directly comes in handy. Uh, and his effect to summon himself as well. That's really the big reason why we keep Bachelaos is because of the fact he can summon himself, um, really easily. So, I don't know, he's just, it's just a little too good to cut. And doing three Meteor Gun and one Bachelaos, it just makes the deck a little brickier. So I, I don't want to brick too much. Uh, but anyways, we played three Gamma Seals. So Gamma Seal is just here because I love Gamma Seal. And he's my, it's like my favorite Kaiju. And I know a lot of people don't expect Kaijus. But I like having Kaijus because 
sometimes our opponent, or well, most of the time, our opponent's going to put up a monster that's going to be a little too difficult for Warrock to out. So, uh, yeah, we just Kaiju it. It's just a good card. It's just a nice staple to main deck because, yeah, it's just, you know, why not? It's just easy out to any monster. Uh, and then Triple Nib. So, th this, okay, this is actually where the hand trap version of my Warrock build actually started. I was like, okay, Warrock, it's, it's a caveman deck. Nibiru is a giant rock. Caveman throw rock. <laughs> that, that was literally this idea or this little funny, silly, dumb idea was literally the reason why I decided to try a hand trap build. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Triple Nibiru, it's actually, it, it helps a lot. Our opponent is building their board. There's so many monsters left and right. And it's like, you're looking at your hand and there's no way your war rock, I guess, engine. I don't know. <laughs> there's no way your war rock strategy is going to beat over, you know, an unbreakable board. So yeah, Nibiru is here to just make their board weaker for war rocks to be able to actually combat it. And then double ash. Uh, so I play double ash just because every time I run three of any hand trap that can only be used uh, once per turn. Uh, I tend to draw into them a little too often, but Ash at two, it's not bad. Like you, if you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. Uh, I mean that goes with any hand trap. It's a good hand trap nonetheless. Um, but yeah, and I play double Ghost Ogre, so not too many people actually expect Ghost Ogre. Um, so I decided to play Ghost Ogre just because of the fact that this kills uh, the or this stops the uh, Fire King Island, um, and there's a lot of Fire King going around a lot of fire king snake eyes and just different fire king variants so i was like you know what let's just get let's just play the ghost ogre mainly for fun uh and it is one of my best or one of my favorite uh hand traps or a ghost girl hand traps in terms of uh like the artwork yeah i play double ghost ogre uh it has its uses uh ghost bell is pretty good right now against fire king um so yeah i, I play double ghost bell Double Droll, uh, so I know most people are siding Drolls, but I decided to main deck it because I wanted hand traps in the deck that were high impact. So if I'm playing against a deck that loses to Droll and I have Droll in hand, then obviously, you know, Droll just helps a lot. It makes the opponent build a much simpler board for War Rocks to combat. And then if their deck doesn't die to Droll or Droll doesn't affect them at all, then we just side these out. Um, but yeah, anyways, so... We play Triple Mountain. This is standard. Obviously, you're going to want Triple Mountain. Searches your Warlock monsters. Uh, double Crossover. So not too many people actually know about this card. And this card is actually pretty dang good. Uh, it's saved me a lot because it's non-destruction removal. And it's non, uh, it, it doesn't send your opponent's monster to the graveyard. You target one face-up monster your opponent controls and one warrior monster you control. You equip the opponent's face-up monster to your monster as an equip spell. And if you do... Until the end of this turn, your opponent takes no damage from battles involving that monster you control, which is fine. Um, you know, we got rid of their monster. That's all that matters. And so while equipped, the equipped monster, if it would be destroyed by battle or card effects, you destroy the monster equipped to it by this effect instead. Uh, so yeah, it gives your War Rocks protection. Next, we play triple copies of War Rock Dignity. This is the negation of the archetype. Uh... It's literally, yeah, I mean, it's the only negation in the archetype, so it's obviously going to be one of the best cards for the deck. Not really much to say about this card. Uh, it, it's a negate. <laughs> uh, there were triple copies of Warrock Medium. So this card allows you to set a Warrock spell or trap from, or directly from the deck. So typically, you'll use this to set Mountain, and then Mountain, Activate, search for whatever monster you need. Um, or if you already have Mountain on board or in hand, then you just use Medium to set Dignity for a negation. Uh, and then Medium also has a pseudo Mystic Mind effect, which actually catches a lot of my opponents off guard. Um, and honestly, most of my wins with this deck, it comes from my opponents not wanting to read my cards and not caring to read about my cards. Um, so like they'll be using like effects to destroy the level fours that flow into Meteor Gun that literally kills their decks sometimes they'll play into the medium by accident wasting like a normal summon or something like that um but anyways yeah medium what it does is if you control a level seven or higher war rock monster and your opponent controls a special summoned monster during the main phase one only neither player can activate the effects of monsters on the field so that's really good in terms of giving yourself a uh or pretty much to assure that you'll get another turn which sometimes 
if you can leave Meteor Gun on field, sometimes that's really all you need. But anyways, yeah, medi triple medium, really good. Uh, reinforcement of the army, obviously, we want to play Rota, Searches, Forsha, Gactos, Wintel. Uh, change of Heart, I've debated about taking it out for something else, but so far, I mean, I haven't had a chance to play test with anything else. You could argue that you could play uh, Called by the Grave in this deck, but like, I don't think Called by is really needed. Because Called by would only be protecting Mountain, that's really about it. Because Forsha effect happens in damage step, so... Yeah, like, your opponent's not going to be able to Ash Forsha or anything like that. So, yeah, I mean, the change of heart's been okay. I, I haven't had too many issues running it. Uh, and then double Magnum Shield. So this was my choice over Moon Mirror Shield. A lot of people have actually been saying to run Moon Mirror Shield. Like, a lot of my homies has been telling me to run Moon Mirror Shield over this. Because uh, it guarantees that your monsters always win the fight. Uh, but I'm like, Magnum Shield technically does that too. Um, I also like having the huge stat buff because it turns Forsha into a 3400 beat stick. So if all you have is Forsha and Magnum Shield, you just normal summon Forsha, equip with Magnum Shield, Forsha becomes a level 4 3400 beat stick. And then if they can't beat over it by battle and they use a card effect to send it to the grave, this floats into Meteor Gun. And Meteor Gun's what you want to try and turbo out most of the time. So it's a win win situation. And like, if you just, if you have the hand to do it or have the uh the right circumstances to do it like get meteor gun on field equip meteor gun with magnum shield this becomes 5200 so and he can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects and he can attack twice on monsters he's he's pretty busted with magnum shield i'm not gonna lie he's pretty busted with magnum shield and like moon mirror shield again it guarantees your monsters don't lose the battle but if your opponent doesn't have any monsters on board and you're just swinging I mean, yeah, 17, 19, 18, you know, it's all uh, respectable uh, attack stats. But, I mean, if you can have Magnum Shield and have, like, 3,400, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 a... <laughs> it, it, it hurts a lot more. It pressures a lot more. Uh, and then the extra... Uh, I'm going to go from right to left. So, we got Geonator, Transverser. So, I'll, I'll be honest. Most of this, like, 90% of this extra deck is all filler. Uh, you can literally play anything you want in this extra deck that fits your personal liking. Uh, this is just what I had on hand and threw together very quickly, honestly. Uh, and after playtesting, um, well, actually, I'll, I'll go through the extra deck first. So, you know, one Geonator Transverser. This has actually, like, come up once. Um, but honestly, I could take this out very easily. Uh, Double Ferocious Flame Swordsman. Uh, Pit Knight. Raten. Never really go into this guy. Honestly, never really go into him. Uh, just, yeah, just never felt the need to summon him. But he's an Earth Warrior, so he synergizes. BLS, Triple Cowboy. So this legit is just for a meme. <laughs> so, like, honestly, you don't need to be running that many. Uh, and honestly, you don't need to you don't need to run Cowboy at all. Um, but I just run it because he's an Earth Warrior, and it's funny. Um, yeah, that's that's literally all it's for. It's just because it's funny. Exiton Knight uh, is actually a card I do summon in this deck sometimes. So if you got nothing, you can't make any play, and your opponent's got too many cards established on field. Summon Forsha, Special Gactos, Exiton Knight, blow up the field. Gandiva, uh, it's just, yeah, I mean, I, I just didn't have any other cards in mind to throw in, so I just decided to throw Gandiva in. Uh, Double Baguska, uh, the one Typhon, one Zeus. So Typhon actually helps a lot. As a going second deck, Typhon helps a lot. Uh, and then Zeus is pretty good. So after playtesting more, um, I've been debating about taking out a copy of Cowboy for a Baron. Uh, just because we can make it if Meteorion is established and we draw into like Ash, Ogre, or Bell. And it's a Warrior, so it does synergize with Mountain. Uh, I mean, when I say synergize, I mean the effect for uh, at the start of the battle phase, if you control no monsters or all monsters you control are warriors, you can special summon a Warrock monster from your hand with different name uh, than the cards you control. Uh, and if your warrior monster would be destroyed by battle, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. So Mountain can protect Baron from being destroyed by battle. Uh, it's just a very small like synergy that doesn't really mean or doesn't really impact that much. But I mean, it's there. Um, I might throw in Baron, to be honest, just for the heck of it. Uh, 
yeah, honestly, most likely I'm probably going to be throwing Baron in. Honestly, in in my in most of my games, I get extremely lucky. Uh, I don't know how lucky I'll get with with this, but oh no. So let's say we're going second. Okay, so typically this is the kind of hand I'll be seeing. This is exactly why I, I get pretty uh, pretty lucky and successful with a lot of my games. I get stuff. I get hands like these. So like our opponent goes, they search. Okay, we draw. Uh, they summon more than five. Then we find the right moment to nib, and then they still manage to establish like a problematic monster. We gamma seal, <laughs> and then from there we reinforcement. Uh, Add Forsha. We normal summon Forsha. And then if we really wanted to, we could change a heart. Um, actually, yeah, we probably would change a heart to Gamma Seal. Uh, or actually, no, we wouldn't need to because we would have Nib. Uh, so Nib could swing into the Gamma Seal. And then Forsha would swing. Forsha would search into the medium. Main two. Set or not set, activate the medium, medium effect, uh, to set the dignity so that way we have a monster negation. And then for next turn, we'll use medium to set the mountain, and that way we can use mountains effect to search for the meteor gun, battle phase, uh, mountains effect to special the meteor gun, and then there you go, you have meteor gun established. Uh, it's slow, I know, but I mean, it's war rock, what do you expect? But yeah. Uh, once again, that is the deck profile. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.